Welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how we can set up the Eclipse project for our current example. Recall in our current example, we are going to use JSP files to work as both the controller and the view for our guessing game application. We'll make two JSP files, one called index.jsp and the other one called game.jsp. In addition, we plan to make one Java class to fit into our model or our application. In this video, we're simply going to get the project started in Eclipse. Since we are creating a project that has web components, instead of a regular Java application, we need to create a Java dynamic web project. To do that, select File, then New, look through the list of types of projects, and if you do not see Dynamic Web Project, click Other. If you see that already, then you may check that. Under Other, we get the full list of things that can be selected to create. Notice if you scroll down and you open the Web folder, you'll see that Dynamic Web Project is part of that. Once you have select Dynamic Web Project, hit Next. We then have a series of dialog boxes that we need to fill out in order to create our application. We'll call this one Guessing Game JSP Only Version. This name is to distinguish this project from those which have a servlet only version or which finally has an MVC version as we'll see in later videos. You may check that it's being stored where you expect it to be stored. You might check your target runtime. This should be showing some type of runtime here. On mine, I've chose to use the default runtime, which is J2EE Preview. I'm using Dynamic Web Module version 2.5. If these two are not selected, be sure to select those. You can do so by clicking on the arrows on the side and scrolling through the list. Other items are set their defaults and I'm going to leave them at those and I'm going to hit the next screen. In the next dialog we get to declare which folders will actually have Java classes. Most of our Java classes for our model we'll put under the source folder. We may subdivide that into packages but let's add another folder. We're going to call this one tests and hit OK. I'm going to use this one to have a separate source folder so that I may include any test files if I want to use those to test Java classes. We'll create later a JUnit test to test our game number class. Hit Finish. All we've seen happen so far is that a new project is showing up in our Project Explorer window. If I expand this, you'll see some differences between this type of application and a regular Java application. For instance, there's something known as a deployment descriptor. Very important file. We'll mention it later. There's also something called Java Resources. If we expand that, we should see our source and our test folders. This is where we'll put any Java classes that we're going to make. Web Content. This is an important folder, as this folder is where we will put any asset that will actually be sent back to and used as part of the view on the client. For example, HTML files, CSS files, assets such as video or images. All of these would go into web content. In addition, our JSP files, which are primarily designed to handle the view, will go under web content. First, expand source. Nothing under there. Let's first create a package to put in our game number Java class. Right-click on source, hit new, and select package. Let's call this one simply game stuff. The idea of a package is to organize classes. Imagine that in addition to guessing game, I am eventually going to write lots and lots of different game programs. Maybe the next Angry Birds or Plants vs. Zombies. So I'm going to put any classes related to games, generally reusable in various game applications, into game stuff. Hence, our game number class will be put in here. Let's do that now. Right click on game stuff and we're going to make a regular Java class. Select New and Class. We'll call this one Game Number. Again, we are going to look through the whole dialog. Basically on this one, as it's going to be just a regular Java class with no main, we're pretty good to go with what we have here. 
We don't need constructors from a superclass. We could generate comments. Let's hit finish and see what happens. So our game number file has been created. In this video, we're just going to make the stubs of each file. We'll come back in separate videos to create each component. So let's close that out for now. Let's move down to web content. Here is where we want to put our JSPs. Recall I mentioned earlier in this video that the JSP file is a web component. Right-click on web component itself. Be careful not to right-click on meta-inf or web-inf. That's a common error I find with my students. Right-click on web component, select new, and this time we want a JSP file. Notice it's showing up on my list, but what if it hasn't? Again, I can pick other, and I can eventually find any type of component. The items which are in that first list are those things which you might have used recently. Under the web folder, I will find the JSP component. Click Next. Again, a set of dialog boxes will appear. The first one asks me what I want to call this. It's important that you also include the extension for the JSP file. So type the first one. This one will be index.jsp and hit Next. In many cases, you can hit Finish if you know what's after that, but I wanted to show you what is here. On the new Java server page, it's possible to pick various templates. We are basically just going to go with the new JSP file HTML in parentheses. This is just a very basic JSP. If we were getting more advanced, we might pick a Java server face template or something with XHTML. Click Finish. You'll notice that the index.jsp file is created under web content. It's in that folder. A very minimal HTML style page has been created with an interesting command on the top line. We'll talk about that when we create the actual code for the index.jsp. For now, we'll leave this as is and go ahead and create our third component. Again, this is going to be called game.jsp. Let me pause for a moment while you think of where I might put this. You said in the web content along with index.jsp, you'd be correct. Right click on web content, select new. This time I'm going to pick it from the list in the pop up menu, JSP. I want it to be in the web content folder as it shows. I want to call this one game.jsp. This time I'm going to hit finish since the other page is nothing I want to change. So now we have a file for each of the components we want to create. In the next set of videos, we'll actually write code for these particular components. This has been a Piercy production.